There's more embarrassment for the Brumby government with the first of our new trains still not ready to take passengers almost six months after arriving in Melbourne. Brendan Donoghue is at Newport tonight with the train in question. Brendan, who's being blamed? Well, Peter, both the state government and Metro Trains are blaming the Train Drivers Union, saying they're protesting about trifling matters to do with the new Extrapolis train, but the union says it's definitely not ready or safe to be in service. The government of Metro Trains say union concerns over the train seat, a flap over a switch and a hand rest are keeping the train out of service. We've gone through four prototypes. We've gone four prototype armrests and it's still not satisfactory. They're using um, minor issues as an excuse not to take that train into service. But the train drivers say there's a raft of issues not signed off, from the driver's display unit to emergency intercom and a faulty floor. That is the greatest load of hogwash I've ever heard about, the armrest. There's a lot more problems wrong with this train than an armrest. The first new Extrapolis train arrived in late August. The second train is also undergoing repairs and improvements. I'm intensely frustrated by that. These trains should have been delivered and they should have been on the tracks. His government is tired and the public are sick and tired of all the spin. For the average passenger crammed into old trains, the finger pointing is cold comfort. It's expensive, inefficient and unreliable. We do need every train uh, that we can get onto the tracks as quickly as possible. The third of the 38 new trains on order has left Italy and will be in Melbourne next month. But that too has to undergo a lengthy commissioning phase. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News. And you can have your say in our 7 News online poll. We're asking, is the Brumby government delivering on public transport? Please go to yahoo7.com.au to register your vote and we'll have the results tomorrow night.